let's do the halfbacks together. Let's do Jerome, Jerome and Nathan versus Johnny Lomax and Louis Dodd. This is the mouth watering one. This is the clash. This is the clash we've been wanting. You know, Penrith can say, yeah, they, they've got all these players that need this, that the forwards will get them there. They've got better running backs. They've got better outside backs. They've got better up, whatever. Let me tell you, let's match this up because I want to get right into this. Let's give the boys, or when the Saints go marching in, come on. Um, yeah, I think you've got Jerome Luai and probably V Johnny Lomax, haven't you? Both running uh, instant game, instant game changing material from both players. You saw Jerome at the World Cup. Sadly, we missed Johnny, didn't we? And Lewis Dodd. So the Aussies don't know what's coming here. The, these are two of the best halfbacks. Super League and England have to offer. This, in many people's eyes, would have been England's one and two, possibly at halves, or their future. Obviously, with George in there, I don't want to disrespect you, but these are, with George, they're the top three halves in English halves in our game at the moment. So we're coming, and the Aussies haven't seen this. Uh, obviously, Dodd's played unbelievable. Um, Johnny. Hey, Dodd, please, Dodd. We keep saying Dodd. He bollock, he's bollocked us. Dodd played unbelievable. Johnny probably didn't have his best game, you know. It's against St. George, he probably didn't have his best game. So I think Johnny will be looking, probably just trying to figure things out, trying to figure out the speed, get into it. But yeah, um, what unbelievable play. Lewis Dodd, one of the, could be one of the best halves Super League has yet to see. He's got 10 years still left in him. Johnny's on the other end of the spectrum here, a bit older. This is Johnny's game. This is Johnny's game to say, I am one of the best stars slash one of the best players England rugby league has produced as a whole. So I'm excited to see it. Um, yeah, Jerome Luai. I'll let you take Jerome. You love Jerome. I'll cover a bit of Nathan Cleary. Nathan Cleary, one of the best game managers, they're saying he is the best half in the whole of rugby league at the moment. A great game manager. His kicking game is the best Again, we've ever seen it's Johnny Wilkinson for England type level where he, he just completely dominates games with his kicking game, with his control of his game. And he's actually last year learned a very good running game. Maybe he had it, I don't I don't know in his youth, he might he probably he probably had a great running game, but he's developed it more and more and he's got it at the top level now. So he's got everything and he's a leader of men. So that's what you're handling with Nathan Cleary. Dad, I'll pass your own Luai over because I know how much you love him. Well, you know, I tipped him in the World Cup to be a star and, and, and I thought he'd, he'd be the biggest danger to to what happened and he did. He, he, for me, he was the star of the World Cup. I thought Cleary were very quiet, even though Aussies won it. I didn't think Cleary, for me, we didn't see the best player in the world at the World Cup. I've certainly seen it over the last four or five years. Utmost respect for his game management is unbelievable. And again, these two guys are physically huge. They're physically huge men. You know, Cleary from an halfback, he's off the scale. What is he, 6'1", six, 6'2"? Six, you know, I don't I have to get the, the weight and everything, but, you know, they're both physically strong. Clearly, the same good could go down to one of the greatest ever. You're talking in the Johns, the Fiddlers. You're talking right among the Langers, the Sturlo. You're talking one of the greatest to ever do it, down Darren Lockyer. So they're already saying that, and he's a young, he's a young man. Jerome, I absolutely love. Uh, I, get, I hope I get a chance one day to meet him. I just love the way he plays. He plays fear, he's fearless. Absolutely competitive. He's, he's got Wellsby's that 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 don't give a honestly some of the things he says controversial. He plays on the edge. Don't he? He, he doesn't apologise for winning. That's what I love about him. He don't apologise. Right, we've won. Yeah, we're better than you. See ya. So, the, but I'm going to try and get Johnny. Johnny for me is the most underrated player to ever play for England. I don't think the I don't think as a country we give Johnny the top he deserves. This lad. There's been a credit to game. He's been one of the greatest players ever. Potentially, could Tech Roby is the greatest Saints player of all time, in my opinion. He, he could be talked about in there. He's had loads of offers to leave us, Johnny, and he's kept as loyal as the days long to our competition and to Saints. He's got the best game management. I don't want to back kicking, but actually process. Work, that There's a difference. He can process the play. If you have anybody heard him on Sky, after the game about a year and a half ago, talking about the game and how we saw it all, how it unravelled. Genius. Absolute genius. Johnny lets the play 
go ahead. Then he knows when to jump in. He's got the best skip out to make the number I've seen. It's, so it's, it's it's simple as this. If we do get the chance with field position, Johnny will execute because he's done it under pressure that many times. He's very cool under pressure. He will know exactly what to do. He'll send you that way. He'll send you that way. And then he'll say, now I want the ball. And he gets the ball at Saints when he wants it. Over to our very own show with the money's Lewis Dodd. You know, big, you know, love the family. Look, look, I, I text Lewis yesterday. He's buzzing. You've got this. He's a fearless kid. He's, he's Lou. He's just a fearless kid. He, to, come off, to come off what he's been through and play like that. He's only played 50 minutes. That's his second game in eight months, seven and a half months. It's, it's just off the scale. There's only probably one or two in history could do what, he, what he's doing now. And what he did yesterday is just, I mean, I'd love, I'd have loved him to have seven months to go into it, but AO will take it as it is. For me, he's one of the greatest young talents we've had for a long time. He would have, he would have played in the World Cup. I, I am absolutely, I absolutely think that Sean Wayne would have played him to put at that age, twenty year old, twenty one year old to play in the World Cup. Lou will go into that game next week to take on Nathan Cleary. That will be on his mind. That takes guts to even think about it. I'm telling you now, he will say, get me the field position, I can dance these. What I do like about Lou's chances are, and this is crazy, us even, we can't match this up and I won't match it up. Because it'd be crazy, because at the moment, the two Aussie lads have done that much. At the moment, it's it's a bit unfair. But let me give you a bit. Lewis went over with Saints. I think you're about 17. He played about three or four games against their top juniors. Lewis run a mock on this surface. On the surface, in the sun, and the way his running game is. He just looks faster and, and, and the way the way he can assessment so quick and make it happen is a credit to our, our, him as a player. He can literally look up and instantly develop that into a move. And he's got the pace and that footwork to do it on a quick, quick. The double pump he did yesterday, I said, I said to Andy, I've not seen him double pump and then throw that ball over the top. I've not seen a lot of that. He plays very face up. And he said he just loves it over there. He loves the surfaces. He loves the running games. It suits his style. He's a running game. He's, you know, he's also got that lovely little grubber. He's got that kicking game, that box kick. But this, for me, is the matchup. This is everything we're going to see. I'll tell you what, Johnny, he needs to, this could be Johnny's biggest game. He needs to leave a legacy, whether, you know, whether they win or not. Lewis Dodds, it's just a progression of what's going to happen. It's a progression into seeing somebody who could be one of the greatest stars we've ever had. I'm talking right back to the to the Murphy era. I, I do believe he could be our, one of them. That's actually his confidence. He's like what they used to say about Alex Murphy. It reminds me when I, when I read about Alex Murphy, I go, God, that sounds like Lewis. Against, like I said, potentially could go down as the greatest Australian halfback of all time, this kid. And Jerome, I can't, you know, I can't say enough about him. So I'm leaving that one as it is. One thing for sure. The half-backs are only as good as the forwards. They're only as good as the, the outside-backs carries out yardage. Whoever gets the most field position wins that battle.